300 million years ago, the Earth's forests were dominated by towering lycopod trees. Today, their only descendants are ankle-high evergreen plants of the forest understory, and you can find them even in winter. Most people know them as club mosses or ground pines, and they do look like a cross between mosses and miniature trees, particularly in the snow. And here's where they reproduce from these kind of cone-like structures out at the tip of the plant, and they will release millions and millions of minuscule spores. The wind scatters the spores for miles. It takes two years to germinate and another 15 years to grow into a mature plant. Lycopods can live a century or more, so you never want to uproot one without a good reason. Here's a crazy thing about lycopod spores. They're oily and amazingly flammable. Early photographers used to ignite piles of them to take flash pictures. But why would lycopods have evolved flammable spores? One hypothesis is that the trees used the spores to start forest fires to kill competing plants. But there's a simpler explanation. If a spore has to survive years in the soil, oils are a super efficient way to store energy and prevent desiccation. That's what makes them so combustible. How combustible? Let's do an experiment. Snip off a few cones, making sure to leave plenty on the plants so they can reproduce. Then stick the cones in an envelope so you can collect the spores. Now, unless you want to win the Darwin Award, don't try this inside, okay? Ready to pour the spores over a flame? 